Today is Jackie Robinson Day in Major League Baseball. And uh, one of the gentlemen who will be calling the showcase telecast for MLB Network tonight okay. with Tom Verducci and Bob Costas at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific, first pitch Chavez Rabin time between the Giants and the Dodgers, Madison Bumgarner and Clayton Kershaw. Pleased to have right here Emmy Award winner. <laughs> Harold Reynolds here in person on oh, the show. Oh, man. Thank How you, are you Rich? HR? Great to see you, man. It has been too long. Awesome. This is mem We have a lot of back. memory lane. We do I just go back. stung you with one. Redding, California. I yes. You, didn't I? I see, was in Redding, so we Redding California is where I got my start. There is a Rich Eisen Show radio affiliate, Ken and KNRO, that listens to this show every day. Wow. Up there in Redding, California. You're big time, man. Well, Look at this. The digs here are amazing. I'm this so is glad awesome. you like it. I'm I so love it. And, and we, I was talking in hour number one that we were doing baseball two days. Day, which was yeah. an ESPN2 show <laughs> that lasted maybe two years, yes. you know, where the Sunday mornings. Well, I mean, because, you know, ESPN is doing what uh, and what uh, the MLB figured out for themselves also to make the sport bigger. Let's get their own channel. Let's get yeah. something going. And ESPN tried to make like a pregame show a la the NFL right. to get everyone ready for first pitch, you know, uh, on yeah. a Sunday. Probably needed a few more years to marinate. But what, what do you think? Um, the state of Major League Baseball is right now, Harold. Just to throw you know it what? at you. You know what? It's it's uh, an interesting state because um, so many RSNs. That's the locals. Yeah, the regionals. Have such so many regional broadcasts have such great followings. So it's not necessarily the national broadcasts that are that are doing really well. It's the regionals. So you put everything together. The sport is bigger than ever. Um, we got a lot of young stars, so that's been real good and with good names, but. There's still room to grow. I still think there's some uh, things I don't like on the field. I, I can't understand how a guy can't hit the ball the other way against a shift, you know, so we need to figure that out. But uh, all in all, I think it's it's at an all-time high. Yeah. And, More and, people watching than ever. Well, and, and guys like Harper, McCutcheon, yeah. Trout. Oh, yeah. These are guys. Stanton. Two guys tonight, Kershaw and Bumgarner pitching. Yeah. You know, so uh, there's, some, there's some names you can hang your hat on right now. So the uh, Cubs are 9-1 and one right now. Uh, Are you a Cub fan? I am. You know, I'm from New York City, as you know. Um, so, but the Cubs fans right now are out of their minds. But they are yeah. just like, um, I guess, Jet fans in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, they're looking for that trap door. Where's that trap door opening oh, up? Oh, it's unbelievable. And, and I thought Kyle Schwarber being yeah. uh, knocked uh, pretty damn near unconscious by his own teammate and then out for yeah. the season might be that. But they're, they keep on chugging. They're deep, the Cubs though. Right now. Uh, Theo's done an amazing job of building that roster. He took his time with it. They were smart about it. When Joe Madden, the opportunity to grab him opened up, that was like taking it to a whole nother level. But I, I, I thought what they've done with the international guys, uh, with their draft, you get Chris Bryant, guys like that. Uh, the moves they've made have been real smart, and, and they're deep, you know, and, and They've got deep pockets, too, and I, uh, they've got the combination of everything working right now. So they are the team to beat in the National League. Well, I, I still I think they're the team to beat because of all the reasons I said, but I'm a little bit leery. I, I still think there's some really good clubs. I love the Giants. I just think that they're the sleeping giant in the room, Very so to speak. Well done. That's, that's Emmy uh, Award winning stuff right there, Harold. That's good stuff, Put man. that on the reel for 2016. Make sure you clip that off. We'll clip it. We'll clip it. We'll clip it. Um, <laughs> but no, they're, they're the team nobody's talking about. And I, and I really think um, they do such a great job as an organization. I really think the Giants have a shot this year. No, it's an even year for them, right? They're yeah, like the, you know. They're like, like, remember when Brett Saberhagen? Would he have yeah. Cy Young years one year and then not so the next? It's in every That's other true. year yeah. for the Giants. What about the American League, Harold? Who's the team to beat in the AL? Is it the Royals? Because everyone can't, just can't seem to wrap their arms around that this team is the best team in the American there, League. There's year, not year really right that now. much difference in their roster. So, yeah, I got to say it's still the Royals. are 7-2 and two right now, playing good ball. Um, the Tigers are better this year, so the division is going to be a little bit tougher to, to get out of. And the of. White Sox. Yes. They were supposed to have that clubhouse torn apart because, you know, Blake LaRoche was no longer yes. around. <laughs> yes, and, and which right I still can't believe I got away with it that long, having him around the clubhouse. I mean, it's, it's amazing that he was not just being in the clubhouse and being around because kids are always around, mm -hmm. but to be 24 hours a day with the team. Where did you, so where did you stand on that subject? I well, think I, I, I just gleaned it, but I just want to... I thought it was... Uh, like I said, I'm surprised that Adam got away with it that long. I mean, I've been around clubhouses, and kids were always welcome. But when it was time to play, it was time for you to go go hang out in another part of the room. 
Well, in spring training, how the dynamics of spring training work is everybody has their kids with them at camp. And so you may have the major league team on this field practicing. The other kids are down on all the other fields. But he was in the middle of all their drills. And I, I was kind of surprised that he was a part of that, all that. And so. uh, Right. And, th and everyone <clears throat> thought, like, this is going to be right out of the gate. Robin Ventura is going to be in trouble, whatever. Yeah. They're, they're but they're seven playing and two. good ball. They're playing good. Harold Reynolds here on the Rich Eisen Show tonight. Listen to him with Verducci and Bob Costas on the Giants and Dodgers on MLB Network Showcase telecast. I come on Jackie that, like, uh, like uh, um, on one of those late night shows, well, man, that's, sitting there at the couch and would you like chilling. to? Would you like? Would you like to yeah. stick around for all the way till eleven o'clock at night? I'm more than happy to have you do that. But there's a first pitch that you got to get to. I'm glad good. you're enjoying yourself because yeah. you and I go way back, man. Yeah, we go back to. The days Man. when I was doing Sports Center with Stewart. Yeah. And you, when did you first arrive at ESPN? Uh, 96. 90s, that's when I yeah. got there. We got there the same time. We did get there at the same time. <clears throat> it was really, you know, it was so unique back then because remember being in those trailers? Everybody just hung yeah, out. Yeah, because they trailers. had to redo some of the, yeah, the, uh, yeah just watching Keith Olbermann and then be like, like hey, Center go get some oil one. cookies at the store when you come back. You know, it was really a good time. <laughs> that's right. Olbermann would be sitting there in a triple wide. Pounding mm -hmm. out his scripts with one finger. He typed with the one finger. The talent was amazing. It was uh, a good you know, time. You had Dan, you had Oberman, you had, uh, who went on to do his own? Kilborn. Kilborn, yourself. I mean, it was amazing. The talent. Stu. Stu, Robin Roberts, Charlie yeah. Steiner, wow, who, who you will be incredible. seeing tonight. Yes. Calling games for the Dodgers. Vince Scully on Jackie yeah. Robinson night. So, what did you take away? What did you learn from Stu? Being around him. What I learned from Stu being around him, interesting that you changed Because it was you too all the time. What I learned from Stu being around him was never let anybody tell you who to be. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. That if you are firmly convinced in your abilities and your sensibilities, then that is who you are. And don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. No. Yeah. 100%. And also, I learned a bunch of rap lyrics that I had no idea about. <laughs> well, that, the, too. The I mean, funny thing is, as we sit here on Jackie Robinson Day, mm -hmm. you know, and today is Jackie Robinson Day, and the game tonight on the MLB Network will be honoring Jackie throughout all baseball, everybody is. And think about Stuart Scott with his booyahs and everything else. Mm -hmm. He was crossing barriers that had not been crossed before. And the conviction of being himself was so important. And, and I look at that, and I say that with Jackie Robinson today, that what Jackie went through to cross the color barrier in 47, with all the different things that we're learning now in history of the name calling and not being able to go certain places and whatnot, he had to be convicted in being himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for you to say that about Stewart, saying, hey, be convicted about that, that is such a great message for today. Yeah. You have to know who you are. And be who you are. And when, you know, in his passing, he was lauded, Stuart, um, we're talking about now. And, mm -hmm. and, and I don't want anybody out there thinking that you <clears throat> or I are equating what Stuart was doing as, no. a, as a sportscaster is anywhere no, in the no, same not realm. Even close. You're just drawing parallels. Yeah. And, 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 and I just want to say yeah, that. I know how like, people react. Uh, yeah. You know how things get. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I know you're not on Twitter, so I'm on Twitter. Yeah. Um, so, but to say all that uh, is that with Stu, he was lauded for it in his passing. But at the time, not so much. No. Not so no. much at all. And for him to keep doing it, and doing it well, as he would say. Yeah. See, that's the doing sort of stuff that I picked well. up. Yeah, see, that's I the see. sort of stuff I picked up I from see. him. I see. So to, that, that he would keep doing it uh, really was something that I picked up on mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. And when I've been asked about him and his passing for his, now he's been gone a year, can't believe it. Crazy. That's, that's the one thing I, I will always say. You know, it's um, with him. As I as I sit here, and again, Jackie Robinson Day, I love seeing Don Newcomb, Vince Scully, uh, these people that were around Jackie, and you know, what he went through and to live it with him. That's those are the people I like to listen to tell the stories. Sure. Because they were in the moment, and when you're in the moment, it's never the same as it is later in history. You know, it seems softer, easier. Now, oh, Jackie Tross is color barrier. Well, we have a black president, you know? And I, I have my kids, it's amazing that they've never had a white president. And the next president may be a female, you know, which is crazy to think about mm -hmm. that my kids are growing up in that. That's how far removed we are from 1947 and Jackie Robinson crossing the color barrier. So the lessons in our house have been 
real interesting to see from a kid's perspective of trying to get them to understand what Jackie went through, where you can't go into certain restaurants and he couldn't s sit on the team bus and, unless he was in the back and he couldn't go dress in the same locker room in some places he was not allowed in. So to live it at that time in real time, man, that was difficult. And we're also living in a time, though, where people don't want to uh, have athletes be socially active. Right. True. Or be the conduit for the real world yeah. invading their sports world. It's well, sort of become a, far more insular these yeah, days. Yeah, and it was such Harold. a big part of my generation of players coming up, uh, the civil rights movement, those are the guys that were the Willie Mays, Jim Brown, you know, all those men that stood in those civil rights days uh, were the guys that spoke lessons to me. So we, we, we Deacon missed. Jones was another one, too. Yeah. Deacon you know, would always speak about what he would go through as a black man. And those, were, those, those guys were out front. They were mm -hmm. the messengers of being able to stand for social justice. And for us to sit here and deny... Um, the platform of certain guys today to speak out. It's just not right. It's just part of the American fabric and part of American history and culture. It's gonna be a hell of a broadcast tonight. It's Costas, you, Costas Verducci. Is phenomenal. I mean, Verducci. Bob is on these issues and just as well as baseball. And Bumgarner yeah. and Kershaw and, we'll and Vince Sharon, Scully. Sharon Robinson's gonna join us in the booth. Okay. And we'll talk to her about growing up in, in that household and what her dad meant to her. It's, it's gonna be good. In so it's gonna, and then we got, like you said, Bumgarner and Kershaw. And that's almost like the sideline to the, the big day. So it's going to be great. Yes or no, Bumgarner goes yard on Kershaw again tonight. Everybody keeps asking me that. <laughs> I, know, I know he's swinging for it. You can count on that. He does, it's like a once every other game when these guys yeah. face off, he does Incredible. that. Incredible. It Incredible. really is. Yeah. It's fun stuff. Harold, Thank you, thanks man. for coming in. Rich, my pleasure. Come back. Say hi to Costas, right, Verducci, all Thank of them. You. Please come back anytime. My pleasure. Harold Thank Reynolds you. is right here. There's a bunch of you folks that have been on hold wanting to play the win-loss game of your favorite NFL team. We'll do that. <laughs> uh, less needs still to come. Charles Barkley later on in this hour of the edition of The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.